Hello, everyone. Welcome to Busy Lizzie's Budget. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I'm sure you've already guessed by seeing the thumbnail, but this is a very, very special video where we are going to introduce to you our new member of the family. His name is Juan Diego, but we are just calling him Diego. That is the name that he came with. And he's been our little secret for the past three weeks. And I'm so excited that I now have permission to share with you all about him. So I'm just sitting here having some chili cheese Fritos because Max, not Max, Matt went grocery shopping, got all kinds of snacks. And I thought that looked really good, but I'll stop eating now that we're doing this video. And basically, I just want to tell you the story about how Diego came into our lives, and I want to show you a bunch of pictures and a couple videos. So before we begin, though, let me just say it is such a warm day out. It is, we went from some winter days to now it's probably in the 70s, but I'm in my basement and it's cold. So I have on a tie-dyed sweatshirt in my favorite color combination. And I'm just going to tell you the story about Diego, but, oh, that's right. I was gonna tell you what else we're gonna do in this video. I'm gonna try to do it briefly because Matt and I still are not feeling well at all. And it's gonna take a really long time to edit, to put in all the pictures and videos. And I wanna get this out today. So I also want to do a quick update on Ranger's debt. I figured that since this is, you know, a pet video, I may as well do it in here, sneak it in here. So we're gonna, pay off some more of Ranger's debt. I'm going to show you a very special gift I received for Ranger. And that's what we're going to do in this video. So it's going to be a lot of talking about the dog, pictures and videos. And then at the end, we're going to do this game where we are using this game to that was gifted to us to um, pay down Ranger's vet debt. So if you're new to this channel, first, I just want to say welcome to everyone. If you are new, my name is Lizzie, and we did have a dog, Ranger, that we rescued, and we had him for about three years. He got very sick. He has he passed away in the beginning of August, and we're still paying down his medical bills. And basically, we now have a new a new dog that came into our lives, and I want to tell you all about him and share about him. So this may not be very eloquent. Um, I have a pounding headache right now, but I really want to get this video out so you guys know my secret. And he's been barking in some of the videos, but I don't think you guys have noticed. But anyway, I'm going to try to keep it brief. You guys know for me, <laughs> that's hard, <laughs> but let's just go ahead. So I'm going to have Matt, Matt start rolling the pictures now, and I'll have him do the videos at the end. Can you grunt like a pig for Madeline? <coughs> Okay, I don't know if you can hear that Madeline, but that's what he does when he's upstairs and I'm down in my office. There's one video I think I want to keep the, I want you to hear the original audio. So we'll see if we can make this work with the editing. But anyway, we are so, so, so blessed to have Diego in our lives. So here is the story of what happened. So basically, my daughter, Addie, was at her father's house one night and she was bored. So she kept sending me photos of dogs. She was on petfinder.com and she kept just finding photos of dogs all over the world. Some were in Mexico. They were just everywhere. And she would send me a picture and say, okay, rate this dog's cuteness from one to 10. And, you know, normally we don't judge a book by a cover, but it's a dog and that's kind of how you pick them out. So, and of course, you know, I... I don't think we were ready for another dog um, or I didn't think we would really ever be ready because it would almost feel like we're moving on. Well, I guess that is what it is. And I don't think we're, we'd ever necessarily be ready to move on. But I will tell you that Addie and I definitely were missing having a fur baby to be our therapy dog, to give all our love and attention to. And anyway, um, Matt, Matt was willing to do was willing to go with whatever and Max is not ready and will never be ready to have another dog regardless of what he says. He will never be ready. So anyway, we weren't actively looking by any means. Let me just interject that here and definitely we're not actively looking, but 
when, what was the word I was going to say? Um, I think I was going to say the heart wants what the heart wants and we just fell in love with him. So let me back up. So Addie's sending me all these pictures late one Friday night. She's sending me all these photos and she and I do not have the same taste in dogs. So she sent me a photo and I'd be like, oh, that's a four, a two. One dog, I said, negative one. And she's like, mom, that's so rude. I'm like, well, you wanted me to be honest. So we were having a fun time and I did not find any of the dogs that she did cute or attractive or anything like that. And then she sends me a picture of Juan Diego and I said, 11. And she texts me back and she said, are you joking? And I said, no, I'm being serious. And she was like, oh, wow, okay. So then she was reading about him, looking at photos, things like that. And I didn't want to push it. I know Max was not ready for another dog. But again, I don't think he'll ever be. And he is never home and doesn't have any other responsibility. But anyway, um, I decided not to push it, not to say anything. Well, the next day when Addie came home, she did bring him up. And I said, he is pretty cute. And then the, n the next day, the day after that, she said, Mom, I'm still thinking about him. And I'm just wondering if we can just get some more information and call. And I said, yeah, we can definitely do that. And I was secretly really excited because she brought it up. And, um, or at least that's how I remember it. Um, um, anyway, we, you really just need to fill out the application to get information. So we went ahead and I filled it out. It was on the computer, which was awesome. There were so many questions. Oh my goodness. I couldn't believe the questions kept coming and coming. And it made me really happy because it showed me that th this per th this rescue place really cared about where their dogs went. And again, because I'm going to try to make this as short as possible, I could go on and on about Rocio's rescue. And I'm so sorry if I am pronouncing her name wrong, but I believe it it could be Rocio, but I think it's Rocio's rescue. And Rocio is the sweetest person. And I just can't say enough good stuff about her rescue agency or whatever, however you want to call it in um her rescue in Texas. So anyway, I will tell you, I will tell you all about Diego and give you the details of him, but I'm just going to tell you how it kind of came to be. So it was on a Sunday. I filled out the paperwork on the computer, sent it in, and I waited till I think Tuesday because I was just so excited. And then I sent him an email saying, I just want to let you know I submitted I submitted the application and I'm looking forward to hearing back from you. And then the rest of the week went on and I don't know, some places, some places don't call you back. I didn't know if I'd get a call back at all. I wasn't really expecting to, but so I didn't say anything. Addie didn't say anything to me. And then Friday, it was like Friday late in the evening, I was having one of the worst days ever and all of a sudden, I get an I get a text and then a call from Rocio about Diego, and I was so excited. Um, I just can't even tell you. So we ended up talking to her on the phone, and I'm just gonna tell you a tiny bit because I know some of you are really interested. So, and this will be the only video where I talk about how Diego came to be, where he came from, all that stuff. So, and I could and I could be wrong about some of these details. So please. If Rocio, if you're watching, or or Toddy, if you're watching, please forgive me because um, this is just to the best of my knowledge. I believe this rescue, um, she rescues dogs in Texas, and I believe that, I almost said Ranger, I believe that Diego was homeless on the streets of Texas. To my knowledge, that's what happened. And um, so she rescues these dogs, and then I believe she works with an agency in Cambridge, Mass., and... She flies the dogs by themselves into Hartford, Connecticut, and then someone, I believe, comes and picks them up. I don't know if it's the rescue agency in Cambridge, Mass., or if it's who's going to foster them, but someone picks them up, um, and then they're fostered, I believe, in the Mass area. Well, it just so happened when I was talking to Rocio that she said she met someone and that this lady lived in New Hampshire, and this lady that lives in New Hampshire wanted to start fostering some of her of the dogs. So Diego, we found out, was in our state. So it was just kind of falling into place. It kind of felt like it was too good to be true. 
course, the big thing is, was Addie going to be allergic? Because we've looked at dogs before and she has had severe, severe allergic reactions minutes after being in the dog's um, presence. So I said, this all seems too good to be true. So I figured it probably was and Addie was going to be allergic. And I asked if we could just go meet Diego because Diego was in our state. And she said, why don't you call the lady, Toddy, that is fostering him? And so I called her. She, again, nicest person in the entire world. I can't believe the two ladies that I worked with and how nice they were. And Toddy was just in love with Diego. But she has so many of her own dogs that her husband said, that's it, no more dogs. <laughs> so she was sad she couldn't keep Diego, but that's the only reason she wasn't keeping him. So Matt... Busy Matt, my husband, he said to me, well, we can't just take Addie to go visit the dog because if this lady has a bunch of other dogs in her home, then Addie's absolutely going to have a re reaction anyway, but it doesn't mean the reaction's to Diego. So we're going to have to take him home to our house, give him a bath, which we actually still haven't done, give him a bath and um, then see if she's allergic. So I thought he had a good point. So I told Toddy that we were interested and they do something really cool. The rescue agency, they, um, Rocio has it so that you foster to adopt. So you can't just adopt, you're fostering first because she wants to make sure that you're happy too, as well as the dog. And, you know, so these dogs don't, you know, go back in the, in the system, so to speak, or whatever you want to call it. So anyway, we went ahead and I was so excited. I wanted to, it was a Friday night and I wanted to ask Toddy if we could come Saturday morning, but I was trying to, you know, take a chill pill. And I said, how about we come Sunday and that will give you a little bit of time to say goodbye to him. She said that was great. So we went Sunday to pick him up and I'm just telling you, Toddy and her husband, they did so much for him. Even even one of the family members, I believe their daughter had made a blanket for Diego that he slept with that they sent home with us. They went out and bought him dog food, treats, um, t toys, bones that he likes, the balls that he likes to chew, a new dog bed. I can't even, they, they sent us home with a harness that fit him, a brand new leash. They, I mean, they bought a new dog bed because they knew Addie had allergies. They went all out. They are just the nicest, sweetest, most loving people. And we are so blessed that they're, they're who we came in contact with. So anyway, we went to pick up Diego and we ended up, he, of course, he barked at us right away. He was not happy. But this dog, especially because he was homeless, his you get to his heart through food, through treats. He's very... Um, Again, I can't think of words right now. Um, I took a migraine pill for this headache, and so it makes me have what I think my mom calls stupid head, where I can't really get the words out. But anyway, um, see, I don't even remember what I was saying now. Um, the way to his heart, he's very he's very treat motivated. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so anyway, we, wa we walked with him outside for a while with Toddy, and um, it, it was... Matt, myself, and Addie that went. And anyway, we stayed there for a long time. And then we left with him. And he warmed up to us so quickly, although he's very, very attached to Toddy. He he did not want it. She had to go in the house so that he would actually pay attention to us and not just cry for her. So um, he loves her so much. So anyway, we got him in the car and even in the car, he just did so well because he's very scared of men. And we were told it was going to take quite a while, most likely quite a while for him to even not bark at my husband or my son. But he did really well. And I'm realizing that I could probably talk about him for about the next 60 minutes. So maybe I'll do some details in another video while I'm stuffing cash or something. But let's just say even on the car ride home, he was on Matt's lap. I went home that night. I was working on a huge order. I had to work late into that night to get it out and not because the customer cared, but because I want to keep my star seller status and ship things by the day it says it needs to be shipped. And it's one of my lovely customers with a huge order. And so I was doing the order on the couch upstairs and you will have seen those pictures somewhere where I'm sitting on the couch and I have a paper cutter and I'm making little scratch off boxes and he's just all curled up on me. And in less than 24 hours, he was just falling asleep on mat and We've now had him for a little over three weeks, I believe, and he 
um, is still not completely warmed up to my son. We're getting there, but my son also has a motorcycle and he comes in the house, you know, he hears loud noises in the driveway with the motorcycle shutting, coming home, shutting off. And then Max comes in the house with a huge black motorcycle helmet on where he looks like an alien with it on and then the black leather a black leather jacket and all kinds of stuff so I mean it's understandable that Diego's still a little bit scared of Max but anyway they're getting there and I think if Max tried a little bit harder that they would be completely bonded by now but I also understand that Max is never going to be over Ranger and not that we are over him but Ranger will always there's a chunk of our hearts that our hearts are, will never be complete because Ranger has a chunk of them I mean, you guys know how much we loved him. And so that's never going to change. So this doesn't replace Ranger. We're just, you know, trying to give this love in this home to another, another fur baby that needs our love. So anyway, Diego is the cutest thing in the whole entire world. And you'll see by all the pictures and things. Um, but we just love him so, so much. And he's my little buddy. He wants to go everywhere with me. He has to be with mama all the time. I even carry him into the post office. And it's very dog friendly where we live. So they don't mind in stores if I bring him in on a leash or whatever. And he's doing really well with people in public. And he just had his first vet visit. He did so well. And he's healthy. And oh, and you guys are saying, get on already to the details about him. I'm sorry. I almost forgot. So I will tell you, he is two years old and I believe he turned two at the end of July and he is 20 pounds so he's tiny he is um part chihuahua and part terrier and Addie had him on her lap for half the ride home and which was over 45 minutes and she had zero reaction to him so it seriously I feel like this is I personally, I believe in God, and I personally feel like this was just a gift straight from God that Addie had zero allergies. My sister has a terrier, and she's Addie's extremely allergic to her. So, you know, it's just, it's just, I can't even believe it. I mean, Diego jumps up on her pillow and everything, and she's not allergic at all. So, we pretty much worship him. We love him to pieces. Matt's having a hard time because he's jealous and. <laughs> and Diego just gets in gets in our faces and um he does sleep in the living room in his little cage and we have his new dog bed that they sent home with us in there and the blanket that their daughter had made him and some other things and um he sleeps out there and he's he's just so great he's he's um he's potty trained and all that he what he does is my kids get up for high school before Matt and I get up. So they get up and they get themselves to school and we don't get up until right after they leave. So once they leave, Diego will be awake and watch them get ready for school in the living room. He doesn't make a peep. And then as soon as they leave, Matt's alarm goes off. And when he hears Matt's alarm, he knows it's time for him to get up. And Matt goes out and gets him and he just beelines it to our bed and jumps right on me, starts, pretty much jumps on my head, jumps on my face, starts licking me till the cows come home. I have to keep trying to get him to stop, but he doesn't want to stop. And then he crawls under my covers and he wants to be under the comforter and like completely under it. And then he um, either lays right up against me, like sprawled out or he curls up in a ball right up against me and even puts his head on me or sometimes he'll stick his head in my armpit or whatever he just has to be tucked into mama and he will stay there until I'm ready to get up so that is the one thing I want to tell you about him that's my favorite part about him I love my mornings with him it is so sweet and we really haven't had to put him in his I hate calling it a cage but we Matt calls it his room but I I really have I think we've had him three weeks and I've only had to put him in there twice during the day for an hour or two when I went out because basically someone's always home or I take him with me so that's been pretty cool but he's and when we put him in it he'll cry for a couple for, for not even a minute and then but he knows that crying is going to do him no good so anyway he is just the first I did, this is one of the reasons I closed my shop. Um, I think at that point when I closed it, I knew we were getting him, but I'm telling you, it was like having a newborn for a couple of weeks. He just wanted to be with me 24 seven and I didn't want to leave him because um, 
you know, we, this was all new to him. He had just been rescued. And then he had been with this, this, the most wonderful family in the world for three months. And now then we pulled him. So I just kind of coddled him and let him just do his own thing for the first, um, the first couple weeks. And I, when I was down in my office working, he would cry if he wasn't down here with me and then he'd want to be on my lap. And now he's fine. Um, he can come down here if he wants, but, um, he can't, come down on his own because we have a, a spiral staircase that's metal. And so he needs me to carry him down and I will carry him down, but he gets bored and then he just goes right back up the stairs and then sometimes whines for me. So if I come down here and I close the door to my office, he doesn't whine, he doesn't cry. So he's really, really good. So in, then in the evening, he just snuggles us 24 seven. We have bought him so many toys and treats. It's ridiculous. He loves them all. He's just, he is living his best life. And we are just so grateful and so blessed that we just came in contact with him. And it's just, it's just been wonderful. And I can't even tell you, it's been so much company for me while I've been sick. It's just been, it's what's been getting me through and keeping my spirits up. So I know I've already told you a ton about him and I hadn't even planned to tell you that much because again, I don't want this to go on for forever, but Ask me any questions you have in the description box and maybe I'll answer questions during another video while I'm stuffing cash or something because I'm sure you guys have some other questions. So please feel free to ask any questions. But yeah, he sleeps great. He's house trained. I mean, since we got him, he doesn't scratch on the door when he has to go out. He um, he kind of sits down and backs up against the door and just faces us. But if we're downstairs or whatever, I mean, at the first week he had a couple accidents and that was it and now he's fine and he's just a lot of fun so and ranger was not cuddly at all until his last days and he didn't play with um he didn't play with toys um he would just he would just not on a stuffed animal but um and it's so so diego is completely opposite he's tiny he loves treat he's treat motivated not not love motivated like ranger he just, he, I don't know. He's, it's, it's just been so much fun watching him chew bones and have toys. And I will tell you, <laughs> I think I've spent between adopting him, his flight, uh, everything we needed to get for him. Um, his fir first vet visit, I've spent well over a thousand dollars. So that's what drained my Etsy, um, my bank account where I was saving my Etsy pay. So, but that's totally fine. He is totally worth it. We couldn't be happier. And now I'm sure the pictures ran out a long time ago, even though I have probably five over 500, but I was trying to just pick out the best ones for you guys because it, it's, I have to email them all individually to Matt and then he has, and then we have to get them onto his computer and it's a whole thing. So anyway, let's move on real quick. I'm going to try to quickly end this so I won't spend too long on the rest of this video. But I, since we're talking about dogs, we're talking about Diego, we're talking about Ranger. I need to show you, you guys know busy Kendra. She's, Kendra's my, my best friend, my neighbor, and she helps my, on my channel and things like that. She had this maid, she had this urn maid and this is not going to, here, I'm going to take the top off because it's making a lot of noise, but this is not going to do it justice, me just showing you this right now, you guys, but she had this made, and I haven't put his ashes in here yet because I wanted to show you guys, but she went and took, um, actually, I have it right here. Let me grab it. Okay, sorry about that noise. I just stepped on a cash tray. Um, she went and took this, um, got this mold, whatever this molding stuff is at Walmart on um, one of the last, one of his last few days. And she came and she did two of these and she took his paw print and she said she was gonna, um, she was gonna make a gift out of it. Anyway, she went to our local um, pottery place, Ripple Pottery, and she asked him if he could make it, well, she picked up, she asked him if he could make my favorite colors, teal and purple, and if she could take Ranger's print and have it 3D instead of going in, if he could have it come out. I can't even tell you. I started bawling when I saw this. It is the prettiest, neatest thing. It's his actual print, and oh my goodness, I just, I can't even... I can't describe how beautiful this is and how thoughtful of a gift that was from Kendra. And I just, 
yeah, I, there's no words. So anyway, I want to show you guys that. And um, it's just absolutely amazing. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and, and do Ranger's debt pay down real quick. I'm going to try to do a speed version, not because I feel like I have to, but because of Matt and I both need to edit this together and we have headaches and all that stuff. So anyway, you guys, I have a bunch of money I am putting toward Ranger's debt and we have donations. I, I cannot believe this, you guys. I just am blown away by the generosity of our YouTube family. I can't get, I, I can't even get over it. I never expected to have more. And a lot of these are duplicate from people who have, let me just, let me just show it to you real quick. So first of all, we finished some savings challenges. And like I said, this one is going toward my kid's school envelope. That's what that's for. This one, I decided you guys, um, I finished this challenge from Ren. I'm going to take this one and put it in my gifts sinking fund because I have a ton of, of nephews and other family members that have birthdays in December and January, and I need to start saving. So, cause I like to give them a decent gift. So, or I, I like to spend a lot. I like to spoil them. So I'm going to keep those aside and stuff those in those two sinking fund categories. And then these other savings challenges we finished, we are going to put toward Ranger's debt. So I know I showed you this in a recent video, but we have $100 from finishing Kiara's challenge. And then we have, we finished Jenny at Simply Living Saves. This one is, was, came out to 75. And oops. And then we have Tiffany Budgets. We have this one that was 55. And these bills are kind of already condensed because I had to make a change. The Friends Challenge we finished, um, one of the Friends Challenges in the book for Mari. That was 125. So there's 125 here. And then we have the rest are donations and I'm just gonna show them quickly. And let's see. So from Danielle Crafts Studio, she donated, she sent this in my, in my order. She sent this and it says, it says Ranger's Debt and there's a little heart and paw print. She is so sweet. I'll have her channel and her shop linked in the description box, but we have $5 from Danielle Crafts Studio. And then we have, these are in no particular order. Krista S. Krista donated $25 to Ranger. I think this is like her fifth donation or something. I've lost track. She is just so generous. Krista, I know I haven't, these next few ones, I haven't sent out thank you notes yet, but thank you so much, Krista. You keep totally surprising me and you have just given way too much and I'm just, your generosity is just absolutely amazing. Then we got, we got a donation on my Etsy shop from Maria O. Maria, if you're watching, thank you so much. That was really generous of you. Completely unexpected. Made my day. It just, it's cheering me up, paying off Ranger's debt so that we can close that, kind of close that chapter and I'll feel like we really have the closure. So thank you for that. And then you guys, my Janae, Janae S. She donated... $50. And I know you guys have heard these names, Krista, Janae, again, someone else who just keeps blessing our family and who just really has a, a, a really big heart for, for dogs, especially, but animals. And Janae, you have donated so much and I know you don't want any, I don't, I know you don't want a shout out or anything, but I just want you to know that we just appreciate it so much. And I even, um, well, I talk, let's just be honest. I let, let me organize this money while I talk to you, but I do talk to myself a lot and I'll tell, so, and I talk to Diego and I'll say, say, I actually have a nickname for you. This, this is actually going to embarrass me, but anyway, I'll, I'll tell Diego, I'll say, Diego, Ranger got another, got another donation from his Nene and I call you, I call you Nene. So I hope you don't mind, but <laughs> my family's strange. We like to have nicknames. I can't even figure out how to sort this money. I'm sorry, you guys. But anyway, all of you, thank you so much. It doesn't matter if you donated or not, or if you, I always say this, but whether you told me in a comment, you're praying for my family, whether you sent a card, whether you sent an email, it doesn't matter what you did. Just it, I just feel so much love. We feel so much love and support. And again, that's what made, I think this just so the transition as smooth as possible. 
Anyway, thank you guys so much. I don't even know how to thank you properly. Let's go ahead and count this quickly. So if we put this all together, we have 152 to 20, 40, 60, 83, 320, 40, 360, 373, 83, 94, 10, 25, 35, 45, 55. So we have 455 and we're going to go ahead and I'm already 30 minutes in. Oh, that's not good. Okay. So we're getting down to the bottom of this. This is so sweet. This was gifted to me, as I've mentioned before, from um, Kristen at Intentionally Living YouTube. And this was made for the last $3,000 of his debt that we had. And I've just been... I don't even know the word I was going to use. <laughs> I was going to say chonk, chop chalking away at it. I don't even know what I was saying, but anyway. So <laughs> basically when these cards are gone, the debt is gone. So that's awesome. So right now the care credit card, which I might throw a picture in here. I might not just for sake of time of editing for Matt, but the care credit card is at $1,056 and 74 cents. And you might ask, well, wait a second. The last time you showed us and told us you only owed 800 and something for Ranger. And if that's what you're wondering, you are absolutely correct. So we put Diego's first vet visit on the care credit card. So he ended up getting, let's see, he ended up getting a, the only thing he needed was a, I believe a Lyme booster or something. It was a, it was some type of shot where he needs to go back in two weeks and have the other one. So we paid for his, his vet visit where he met our, met our, our awesome vet. Um, he got that booster. He's going to have another one. And we, let's see, what else? We also paid for the heart medicine. Is it the heartworm? But we got pills. And I think, and I asked her, I said, <laughs> I said, can you make my bill come to just over $200 so that I can put it on the care credit card and, you know, have no interest for six months, even though I knew we'd pay it off right away or as soon as possible. And she was like, oh, absolutely. So she said, if we sell you seven of these pills, like for the next seven months, you'll be good. So anyway, so we put $201 back on the care credit card, but that we're not counting in Ranger's debt. Because again, I said, as soon as Ranger's debt is paid off, I'm taking that donation thing off of my Etsy shop. So let's go back to, so the, so we have that balance on the card. We're going to subtract 201.25, which was, like I said, Diego's bill. And so for Ranger, we owe 855.49. So that's the number. I have it written down up here, so I won't forget, but that's how much we owe. Let's see how much of it we can pay down today. I mean, I'm sure you guys can do the math because we're, we have 455, but we're going to take 455 and see how many cards we can get through. So we don't really need to, to do anything with the money. We'll just use the calculator and we'll finish this up. But this is exciting. And let's go ahead. I'll have her shop and channel listed in my description box as always. So last time we had an IOU of $59. So we need to subtract $59. So we have $3.96 to take away from these cards. So we they're already shuffled. So we just go in order. So this first one is 30. And it says if you get this draw another. So okay, so we're gonna draw another one anyway. So we're gonna finish this card. And I guess I'll put it down here. And then we'll go to the next one. This is a 50 and it says round up five. So, and this was all taken into consideration when we made the box out to exactly 3000. So we're going to subtract 55 and we still have 311. So $40 and it has her logo, which means no tricks. So we just subtract 40 and then I'll just make a pile down here. And then there's another 40, but we round up five. So we subtract 45. And we can, we can get through quite a bit of these thanks to your awesome donations and the money I saved from savings challenges. So draw another. Okay, so we subtract 60 and then we have to draw another. No tricks. So this is a 40. And she this was her trial when she was first um, making these, but she's now made them the ink darker. Did I just take off 40? Oh my gosh. I'm not going to know till I edit. I think I did. Oh, you guys. I wish I knew. I hate that. Okay. 
All right, so then this one, again, no tricks, but it's 80. So subtract 80. That was a big one. And then 20, draw another. Okay, so we'll subtract 20, and we have to draw another one. So the next one is 60. We have to draw another one. Oh, you guys, this is not good. Okay, so if we subtract 60, we owe 34, but we have to draw another one because that's what it said. So, and this one says round up five, and this is 80. So we're gonna say we finished all these, and then we have to add 80. Um, so let's see, we're gonna actually subtract 80. <laughs> so we have an IOU for 114. And you know what, I'm gonna save paper. I'm gonna use Nita's cute little IOU again, and we'll cross that off. And we're going to write 114. So we owe $114. And we finished one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards today. I mean, technically nine because we have an IOU, but that is awesome. So these are now out of the running. And now all we have left, we have the IOU of 114. And then we just have, let's see, one, two, three four, five, six cards left. So this is so exciting. Thanks to all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for all your love and support. I'm so excited to be able to share with you about Diego now. And please ask, remember, ask any questions down in the description box, um, any questions you have about Diego or about his transition, but we're all just doing awesome. We love him so much. I'm so thankful to be able to share him with you guys. And, um, yeah, I really appreciate you watching and now I can go back to my chili cheese Fritos and I hope you have a great day. Please subscribe if you haven't already and you are interested in my content and I will see you all soon. Bye.